Well, no, I haven't looked at it. it don't, it's pointless now. There's no reason for me to look at it. Um, it ain't going to change anything. Um, I thought I did. Um, but it wasn't called. Did you have a chance to look at it? No, I did. I, I, don't, I don't need to. He got fouled. Look, it, it, it never is decided by those plays, but from my vantage point, uh, Dwayne certainly looked like he got fouled on, on the offensive rebound. Just wanted to help my team any way that I can, so I uh, crashed the glass, got the offensive rebound. I'm not sure who it was. I think it was Jeremy that passed the ball back to me. I was wide open, and I just let it fly. And so, I mean, if I if I had to draw it up, I'll, I'll take shooting one for eight before I knock down a big shot any day. And that's what people are going to see is the rebound and the three, but it's talking about guarding Dwayne Wade and Joe Johnson, 40-something uh, minutes every single night and making plays on the offensive end. Um, I mean, that guy, that guy has been nothing short of tremendous. He obviously is a terrific athlete and he's got good timing, but this one was the same place really as the one the other night. You know, look, he's made the two biggest plays of the last two games, uh, and they've both been offensive rebounds. Uh, right now for us, uh, yes, it, it hurts uh, losing at home, but, uh, you know, welcome to the playoffs. The playoffs just started now. Being frustrated going to game six does you no good. But tonight, yeah, I mean, you know, my wife got to deal with me tonight. Yeah, no one else. Uh, I'm going to be pissed off all night until I go to sleep. Coors Light, cold hard facts. I guess that was one of the cold hard facts from D Wade. And, and here's Gabrielle should get her own. Here's yeah. more. Um, Hotel rooms. I'm going to be pissed off all night. Remember, Charlotte, <laughs> fourth in the league in three pointers made this year and only hit 16 of them in the first four games. They go for 12 in game five. And uh, here is uh, D's wife. If players, coaches, owners get fined for complaints about poor officiating, makes sense that poor officiating equals fines for the refs. I mean, well, they actually do. Yeah, they are. Actually, I mean, they do. They are monitored fine. all the they, time. Monitored all the time. But I don't know if that was a. Uh, honestly, I don't know if that was a foul. It's a foul, man. You can't I, come I mean, across when the I lane, saw it from the baseline angle. Listen, he came like from he across the lane. First of all, wasn't a foul because he didn't it call it. Foul. You're uh, right. But, he didn't call but, it, but he what? came from across the lane. But if you look at uh, Hal, just told me their guards, they can't stop their guards from penetrating. Hal just told me interesting. They've shot 60 free throws. They shot 59. So I'm gonna round it up to 60. That's a lot of free throws for guys to get in a five-game series. I mean, they cannot – Jeremy Lin gets by them anytime he wants to. Kimber Walker, even if he didn't shoot a good percentage tonight, he gets a good shot every single time. Unless they found a way to control those guards, uh, Miami's in trouble. Yeah, I, th I thought the key to the game was Jeremy in the, in the sense that his ability to pass out of the penetration uh, and allow other guys to get going and get opportunities to score. That, I thought that was big throughout the game. Uh, you know, the way Wade, you know, played a great game in terms of he kept his team in it. But this is a – I would not be surprised if we we sitting here watching game seven uh, because these teams are that evenly matched. There is no clear uh, advantage that is overriding. Yes, the advantage is the guard penetration. But then there are some advantages that Whiteside and Dwayne Wade have that are probably similar if they're having great nights. Yeah, I mean, it was – in, especially game four, very tight up there in, in Charlotte uh, where they'll play game six on Friday. But Courtney Lee, you, I mean, you talk about all those guys. You talk about Al Jefferson. You talk about Lynn and Walker. But Courtney Lee, how good does that pickup look now uh, oh, mm -hmm. by, by the Charlotte Hornets to, well, I was add, ready to, say, to add him? And, and he's been huge in the last two games in moments. I was going to say you guys make interesting points. But if Miami would have retrieved the rebound that Courtney Lee retrieved and then kicked it back out and then got it back and hit the three, I think we'd be having a different conversation. I think they possibly win that game. They just got out of hustle. And, you know, they, they shot the ball awful first half. We still need more out of white side. And the last play was a foul. But, like you said, you know, no use complaining about it now. You know, the guards are killing them, like Chuck said. You know, they have to find a way to shut those guards down, but also go back at them. You know, Jerry, uh, Jeremy Lynch is playing offense out there. So, whoever's guarding him, has to have the ability to go back at him, one make guy, him play some defense, too. One guy we haven't mentioned who played fantastic tonight was Marvin Williams. Yeah, after a really bad yeah, start he, to this series. Yeah. No, but we haven't mentioned him. But he, his, he was – Batoon hit a couple of big threes, but Marvin Williams played fantastic tonight. Seven, yeah, 17 points on 7 of 10 shooting. Um, so they snap a nine-game postseason losing streak on the road and set themselves up for a clincher on Friday in Charlotte.